Hello Techies, welcome to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous session, we have learned about set variable, truncate number, and generate random numbers as part of variable actions. In this short video, we will learn about increase variable and decrease variable. All right, first of all, we'll see where we are going to use these two variables. For an example, in a company, if you see the employee ID, employee ID starts with six digits and then, you know, it will increment by one like 1001, 1002, like that, right? In that case, if you observe that it will increase the value by one. In that case, we are going to use increase variable to increase the value by one or else I will give you some other example. Now, if you see looping, if I want to display a name for 10 times, so I will start with zero and then I will increase the value by one. At that time, what we will do, we'll increase the variable by one. That is nothing but increase variable. All right. Now I will show you this demo over here. First of all, let me clear the workspace by deleting this. Now what I'm going to do as a first step, I'm going to set a variable. Okay, I'm going to give the name as employee ID over here. Employee ID. And then I'm going to give the initial value, I'm going to give it as thousand. Let us assume this is an example. Then I'm going to click on save. Now I want to increase the value by one or some value. I have to give it some value over there. In that case, I'm going to increase variable that I'm going to use it. If you observe this set variable, what is the variable name that we have given it as employee ID. And if you click on the right hand side, what is this data type numeric value? It will store over there so that even this increase variable also supports only numeric values to increase by one. All right. Now let me drag and drop this increase variable onto the workspace. Now, if you see what is the variable name, I'm going to select the variable name as employee ID and then increase by how much value that you want to increase by. Now I'm going to give the value as one because of I'm going to increase the value by one so that what will happen, the output will come as 1001 over here in the result. All right. Now let us assume if I want to display even numbers. So in that case, what we are going to do, we are going to increase the value by two. I hope you understand how to increase the values, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the employee ID by one so that the value, what are the value we're having in the variable will increase by value one. All right, let me go ahead, let me save it. Now to display the value in the increased variable so that what we'll do, I will display a message box by selecting display message. Let me drag and drop this display message onto the workspace. Now I'm going to give the message box title as result. Okay. And what is the message to display? The increased value that is employee ID. Now let me go ahead. Let me click on save. Now let me run the flow. Now, if you see the result came as 1001. But you may ask one question, but I'm not going to be assigning a new value like employee ID equal to employee ID plus one. So where it is by default, it is saving the values in the set variable of the employee ID itself. Don't forget that, you know, the employee ID itself, it, we are going to be increasing that. So that the, whatever the value we have been increased as part of the increased variable action, the value will be stored in the employee ID flow variable only. Now let me click on OK. Now let us assume I want to increase by two for the even number purpose. Okay. Now I'm going to increase the value by two and then I'm going to save it. Now let me run the flow once again. Now, if you see the result, now you can see one zero zero two. So whatever the value has been increased that is you now stored in the employee ID itself, but you may get confused. What of the value existing value? Whenever the flow has been running, it is first of all, it is going to be initializing with the set variable as employee ID equal to thousand. And then based on that, it is going to be increasing over here. All right, let me click on. Okay. This kind of increment variable we'll use in the loops. Let me drag and drop this loop onto the workspace. So I'm not going to explain this loop right now because of I will explain you later in the upcoming loops session. 
all right over here you can see i'm having increase increment by so what are the value you are going to give it in a such a way you are going to use it in the increase variable also the same kind of thing you are going to use in the loops also all right let me click on cancel now we have learned how to increase the variable by particular value but what will happen if i'm going to increase by some string in that case it will throw an error you can see over here what i'm going to do i'm going to give the string value over here to increase by a i'm just going to give some value some string over here all right let me click on save now let me run the flow now if you see over here the flow execution has been started but what are the employee id the employee id you can see the over here the output over here as 1000 i'm trying to increase the value by some string value or some varchar value you can see over here argument increment value must be numeric value so whatever the values you are going to increase by you should, you have to give as only numeric values now we will learn about the decrease variable let me drag and drop this decrease variable onto the workspace if you see over here what is the variable name if I, oh, the same set variable what is the employee id i have given i'm going to select the same variable name over here i'm going to select employee id i want to decrease by five okay let me go ahead let me click on save now if you see i'm having increase variable as well as the decrease variable now what will happen first of all it will increase the variable value by one that is 1001 you will get it and after that it will decrease by m by five then what will happen it will be decreased four times uh, four value that is nine nine six you will get an output that will be displayed over here all right let me go let me run the flow so first of all this employee ID has been increased by one and then it has been decreased after in increasing by value by one it has been decreased by five so that the result came as nine nine six okay i hope in this short video you understand how to increase a variable and how to decrease a variable by using these two actions as part of the variable actions thank you for watching power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day